What is chin. what is wet ass pussy? <laughs> what is that? Uh, it's the concept. The Isn't concept? it dry? Isn't vagina always dry? I've never actually seen a wet ass pussy myself. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. But apparently, uh, it's something that. I like, I love a, can I like a nice squeaky pussy. Oh, I love that. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. Like yeah. just uh Sounds I like, like you're throwing beef jerky at a, your grandma's face when you fuck it. Yeah. That's that's the sound that <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like Is uh that, Yeah. That's the, that's what pussy. <laughs> that's like. what that's the sound of pussy to me. I like yeah. a pussy that sounds like when you have a mar, mar, your shoes are making black streaks on a on a dry Play, yeah, wood playing floor. Some, playing some indoor b ball. Playing some hoops. Yeah. With your with your yeah. all white basketball. Yeah. When team. you fuck, it sounds like a birthday clown making animals. <laughs> 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 making some kid a hat. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That kind of sound. Yeah, that that's what I like. I I think um, I I no, really still laugh. What is it? A song? It's a song. Yeah, it's a song by Cardi B and Megan. By who? Desi Arnaz. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Who's who's writing a song like that? Nat King Cole. Yes, that's right. Um, no, it's by uh, Megan The Stallion and. Cardi B. George Jones? George Jones was a, a gentleman of country. Is he the one that wrote the song Wet Ass Pussy? <laughs> Wet Ass Pussy, everybody's talking about that. I said, what is that, a song by George Jones? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 uh, that sounds about right. Uh, let's see, what is this song? Everybody's talking about it. W-A-P. My nephew, he says, we're all listening to this song, W-A-P. And I said, what does that stand for? It stands what? for Want a Wap? Penis. And he said, uh, he said, why don't you, when we leave, you can look it up on the computer we gave you 17 years ago that mm -hmm. you're still using to get viruses. I'm going to load up Netscape Navigator. You know, when I first got the laptop, I hated my family for it because it's just my identity was stolen 15 times in the first seven minutes <laughs> I was using it. But it's now, it's nice because the computer is so fucking old, they don't even make viruses for it anymore. Yeah, it's too old for viruses. And I'm still, you turn it on and the entire screen, the entire frame is the Windows 98 start button. Yep. Because I had the I have the magnification settings <laughs> turned up <laughs> all the way, so I can use the laptop. My fa I say you should see me. I say, hold on, we're gonna we're gonna look up the phone number to the restaurant. I say to my nephew, he's like, I can look it up on my phone. I said, no, you'll watch. I've got it, and I turn the computer on, and then it starts. It sounds like a Chinese one of those. Those <laughs> it's just a, it sounds like a pachinko machine. This thing uh -oh. fucking it takes it takes seventeen and a half minutes to boot before I can start typing my password in. It makes the room temperature go up to one hundred and three degrees. Uh, my nephew, he's trying to put a gun in his mouth, waiting for me. As I just I stare at the thing, I get three inches from the screen and look over my reading glasses. We're going to your restaurant. I just need to look I'm it up look on up, the computer. No, we're going to look up the number to the Outback Steakhouse that we go to every single fucking time you're here that I know the number. I should know that the number. That I like calling first. That I like calling first. Because I don't like a wait. Because I even when I go to the world's shittiest restaurant, I like the idea of having a reservation. Yes. Table for two. Yeah, say the, it's me and a young man. So Cardib is who wrote the song. Cardib, yeah. I said certified freak, seven days a week, wet ass pussy, make mm -hmm. that pull out game week woo. Yeah, 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 yeah. You fucking with some wet ass pussy. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass pussy. Give me everything you got for this wet ass pussy. Beat it up. Oh boy. There's the N-word. Yeah. I, I had to pull my nephew aside. I said, I didn't listen. I didn't realize you were listening to racist songs. Mm -hmm. And this disappoints me. The yeah. rest of it, I got no problem with. Yeah, some some of the guys at my work 
I know yeah. they're African American. Wait, hold on. But they Wait, use that. That's word. what this line really is. Beat it up, n word, catch a charge. Yeah. So like, fuck like me rape, so hard that it. you go to jail. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They serve hard time. If that's what women want, that is. If that's what every woman wants. Yeah, that's that's. Put what, this pussy right in your face. Wipe your nose like a credit card. Hop on top. I want to ride. Do a kegel while it's inside. Why were people going nuts about this song? Because um, it's like this is not. I mean, like, like this is not anything new. Yeah, you know? Little Kim used to. Yeah, of course. Do songs about being. Fucked uh, my neck, my back, fuck my or lick my, my pussy and my, my crack. crack. Yeah, that I was mean it's like one. this is not. Yeah, it's it's not a it's not a breakthrough. I think uh, there was a back there was a conservative backlash, and then people found that to be funny. Ben Shapiro was offended by the song. Mm-hmm. I want to read the lyrics to this song right now. <laughs> extra large and extra hard. Everyone knows that everyone has the same exact size penis, five and a half inches. You can look it up right now. In fact, I'll do it on the show. Average penis size, five and a half inches. There is no such thing as a penis larger than that. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah, I think he was reading it and he kept saying wet ass P word. Did, and people were like, this guy is a nerd. Mm-hmm. This guy is a total loser. Out in public, make a scene. I don't cook. I don't clean. That's what, that's what they want. That's what they want. Yes. They want women that don't know how to cook, that don't know how to clean... They just know how to have sex with guys with bigger dicks than you. And that's what they want. And that's what they're going to do. And that's what they're going to do. And that's what they want. And think about that. And think about what they want. And that's what they're going to do to you. Yes. Gobble me, swallow me, drip down inside of me. Fuck me in my ass. Fuck, bend me over. Call me a bitch. Call me a little bitch. Call me a little slave bitch. Call me a little Jewish bitch slave. And fuck me in my ass and my mouth. I'm sorry. That was. Um, I'll get back to reading the lyrics. <laughs> no, I was in a fugue. <laughs> Sometimes I go into a fugue. <laughs> I, was, I was just thinking about you know it's like Takata and fugue. What's that? Takata and fugue, the Bach. Takata and fugue in E minor or whatever. It's a piece of music. Like, da, 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 da. Oh yeah. Well, fugues are like there's a music fugue or whatever, and it's just funny to imagine like I don't know was that Bach Brahms. One just, of those guys. <laughs> just Beethoven. Just like, like, yeah, I'm going to compose stuff. And then somebody's like, hey, didn't that guy look like the guy that molested you? And he's like, ah! <laughs> ah! Just, and that's what that song is. Yeah, he he's like, yeah, I kind of fucking, pain. I blacked out and I remembered when I was getting molested. Oh, totally. And that's uh, that's why it's called Takata and Fugue. Yeah. I run down on him for I have a boop running me. Talk your shit. Bite your lip. Ask for a car while you ride that dick. That's Why you ride that dick? Folks, this is what they want. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they want to do. You really ain't never going to fuck him for a thing. Yeah, um, he actually did that. I'm sure he did. Yeah, I mean, you did it perfect, but that's like every, <laughs> everyone was literally sharing that video of him. He, I think he might have even said, this is what they want. I, 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 like, like, what else is he going to yeah. do? It's that's that's I mean, it's pretty. It's easy. also it's like, but the, the, the criticism is that like this isn't provocative because this is like fucking old news. No, that's not his criticism. It's that this isn't empowering. Of course not. Yeah. But it's like the whole thing is like sort of a stale show. Yeah. This has been something that's been happening for a while. If you listen to the music of Trina, the baddest bitch. Mm hmm. From Slip and Slide Records. A lot of songs like this. <laughs> Holy fuck. What did they say? I just like scrolled down and realized that how many lyrics there are to this. <laughs> it's a long song. This is fucking insane. Yeah. Okay, well maybe that gives it like... This is like... I mean, I don't know what you call these. Stanzas? Yeah, it's poetry in my opinion. It's street poetry. But, I mean, for a song that's just about getting fucked... This is probably 2,000 words. Yeah, well, they're women. They can't shut up. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) I can't shut up. Fuck me to make me shut up. (laughs) You got to fuck me because I won't shut up. Yeah. Pussy A1, just like his credit. Is that a credit rating? Uh, Folks, that's not even a credit rating. I know because I'm Jewish. (laughs) Every Jewish person knows the credit ratings are triple A, triple B, and F. Yeah, that's true. There's no such thing as an A1 credit rating. That's right. 
If Ben took exception with that, I would be on his side. He got a beard. Well, I'm trying to wet it. <laughs> Wait, that's a lyric? So now men have to have, be able to grow beards. <laughs> now that's your penis has to be big, and you may have to grow a beard. But a woman can weigh 500 pounds if she wants to. That's the world. That's how they want the world. Now Ben's starting to make a little sense to me. Women are allowed to be fat and get your face wet with their pussies, but you have to be able to grow a beard. Yeah. And you have to have more than the government allotted 5.5 inches, which is exactly normal and, and fair. And everyone ha- and no one's dick is bigger than that. That's right. It's not fair to have a bigger penis than that. Mm-hmm. But it is socialism to make sure everyone has 5.5. So I think Ben's going to defeat himself with logic there. Mm-hmm. You just proved my point. <laughs> the swang in the back of my throat. Thanks for just proving my point. <laughs> Thank you, Cardi B, for proving my point. <laughs> my point. <laughs> <laughs> and the game is fire. Panani Dasani. Nobody, Dasani isn't even a water company anymore. No, they still sell it at McDonald's. You can't. You can't even get good Dasani. <laughs> you can. That's get how. It. That's how. That's how. Not only is the song distasteful, degenerate, and disgusting, but it's also lazy. Yeah. You can't get Dasani anymore. And Aquafina <laughs> equally rhymes with Punani. Yes, sort that's of. True. In Jewish culture, Aquafina <laughs> rhymes with Punani. In Judeo-Christian culture. <laughs> <laughs> the, Judeo, the Judeo-Christian <laughs> rhyming scheme, which has been stolen from Shakespeare and bastardized by this woman to just be distorted, to be distorted and degenerized, dis, 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 yes. dis, sized, so that she can talk about her vagina. But if I were to write a song about my mm-hmm. penis, everyone would laugh at me. <laughs> everyone would, I, would get, I would not get a Grammy. I would be laughed at. Everyone would say, nobody wants to hear a song called 5.5 inches is normal and there's no such thing as a bigger penis. 5.5 is the biggest. (laughs) Your Honor, I'm a freak bitch, handcuffs, handcuffs, leashes. Switch my wig, make him feel like he's cheating. So now black people want to be arrested, but this time for having particularly enticing genitalia. That's pretty logical. Yeah. That's good logic, Ben. So we can put black people in jail, but as long as it's for being sexy. (laughs) That's a compromise I can live with. To be honest with you, this is what I want. This is what I want. This is the world I want. This is the world I want to live in. Uh We put black people in jail, but it's because they're too sexy. (laughs) That's true. That's true. That's why they got George Floyd. Mm -hmm. Because he was out on these streets being too sexy. In 1987, George Floyd forgot to rewind a movie before returning it to Blockbuster. Uh Case closed. Case closed. He's a career criminal. Those are just the facts. (laughs) I'm not the one that arrested him. I'm not the one that made him return the the VHS tape fucked up. When when I ride the dick, I'm going to spell my name. (laughs) Is that Ben Shapiro? First of all, I'd be surprised if you could even spell your name. That's good. (laughs) I'd be surprised if she could even spell her name. (laughs) As you know, I was the spelling bee champion in Uh fourth, fifth, and sixth grade until my final word was pussy. And I spelled it P-O-U-S-S-I-E. Which is the correct spelling. And everyone called me gay. (laughs) That is the gay spelling. (laughs) And they said, said, you're so gay you can't even get pussy in a spelling bee. (laughs) That's a good burn. And I was so humiliated <laughs> that I, I delved deep into the fugue of Judeo-Christian <laughs> that's, that's a That's a fucking crucial burn right there. And that's, so, that's where it happened, folks. This is, the, this is the band they wanted. This is the band they created. This I is used the to be a wigger. Get. I was a wigger until fourth grade. <laughs> that's, that's totally true. There was definitely a week in Ben Shapiro's childhood where he tried out being a wigger. Mm-hmm. And he just bricked it so yeah. hard. Hey, guys, who let the dogs out? <laughs> 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 who? I have a question for you. Who let the dogs out? Just walking up to a group of black people. <laughs> hey, su- fellas, what's going on? Wearing a suit with sneakers on <laughs> and a briefcase. Yeah, a briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, fellas. Hi, my fellow bus stop Negroes. I was wondering, who let the dogs out? <laughs> I was wondering if any of you could inform me as to who let the dogs out. <laughs> and they beat the shit out of me. And this is the world, this is the Ben they created. This, this is, is the Ben, ben they, they wanted. wanted. Now I have a YouTube with 80 million subscribers. That's right. 
And I they, say that George Floyd deserved to go to jail for not answering my question. They thought that they were killing him. They only made him more powerful. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you where the dogs went, or where they went out to, is heaven. Because that's, that's where all dogs go. Maybe George Floyd is up there with him, where he deserved to be for not answering my question. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's a great take, is that he deserved to go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, only say George Floyd seemed like a very good guy. So it would it make sense as a Judeo Christian that I believe he is in heaven and he deserved to go to heaven? Yes. If racism is so bad, shouldn't we kill all the black people so they can go to heaven? <laughs> <laughs> the atheists can't come to this conclusion because they don't believe in heaven. That's right. That's right, Ben. That's <laughs> Thank you for proving my point. Thank you for proving my point, atheists. <laughs> <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Yeah. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> All right, bye guys. Uh, Come dot town for shirts.